I'm Champ Chong, it is Wednesday and there's a heap of gaming news out today, but before we do get to that, let's get to the clip of the day. G'day guys, welcome to the number one video game channel in Australia where I bring you the latest in gaming news. And there's a whole lot of that gaming news out today and let's get to it. Oh, just before we do, smack the like button as always if you do enjoy the video. But now, let's jump right into that gaming news with our first story of the day which is that Xbox and Microsoft have hinted us some possibilities of the next Xbox console. Basically what has happened is that Microsoft have now secured Xbox.us and Xbox.org along with a bunch of other domains. Right out of the gate, this jumps at me and reminds me of earlier in the year when reports came out that Microsoft might use 8 as the next Xbox name. Now some of you guys may be like, wait, where was Xbox 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, what, what happened? But the thing is that Microsoft do brand their things pretty well and they try to do it all together so it is a branding plan possibility. So yeah, Microsoft could end up ditching the 720 name which is what's reported in last month's leaked documents and just go with 8 which is a little bit weird in my opinion. Then again, it is possibly a smart move by Microsoft because when you think about it they want to match all their products to Microsoft's Windows 8. And another thing to add to this is that the next Xbox and Windows 8 will work together to beat out competitors in cable industry so that they can take over as one entertainment product in your living room. But anyway moving on from the next gen Xbox news into some other next gen news. This next console is real and it's called the Awuyu. Awuyu? Ya ya Awuyu. Whatever the hell this thing is on screen right now. Anyway as weird as the name is the price is also very weird because it's only $99. Yep, you heard it right. I'm being serious. It's only 99 bucks. As weird as its name is, the price is pretty awesome. Now, if you're wondering what kind of specs this console will have, we really don't know right now, but I do know that it will be running on the Android platform and it's going to be designed by Eve Behar. Also, the project is being backed by former Xbox and IGN execs. And sadly, that is all we know about the oh, Wu Yu or whatever it's called. And uh, sadly, we got to move on to the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, yep, we do have some sad news today, and it's got to do with Halo 4. But don't worry too much, as it's only sad news if you own an Xbox with a smaller hard drive, or just no hard drive at all. The reason for this is that Halo 4 will require an 8GB install, which is mandatory. Now, if you don't have the cash to upgrade to an Xbox hard drive, you could get an 8GB or 16GB Xbox flash drive. But then again, you do have until, like, November, until all the big titles do come out, so save your money into big piles of cash and uh, buy yourself a bigger hard drive. Mmm, big news. Big news! So that was a really weird transition to big news, but there is a big list of gaming news out today and I have to get to it, so let's go! First up is that Max Payne 3 has had some DLC released and is available right now. It features online avatars, the new M4 Assault Rifle, and of course the new map. I definitely recommend you guys go get this new Justice Pack, as from what I've heard, it's pretty damn awesome, but something else that's awesome is our next news story, which is if you own an Xbox and Dragon's Dog you can go and download Resident Evil 6's demo today. So yeah, if some of you guys are lucky enough to have Dragon's Dogma and Resident Evil 6's demo, please tell me what it's like, I really want to know. But anyway, something I can tell you guys is that Game of Thrones has its own game coming out. The game will be based on the show and will be free to play MMORPG, which is pretty sick. And if you're really wanting a trailer, there isn't one right now, which sucks, but next weekend at Comic Con, the debut trailer is being released, so there will be more information then. But a game that did get a trailer today is Call of Duty Online. Line. Yep, it's a new Call of Duty just for China. You know, because, well, China doesn't get Call of Duty games, which I actually didn't know, so what? Anyway, since none of you guys live in China because YouTube isn't available in China, I have linked the trailer down below if you just want to check it out anyway. So now, uh, to our final story of the day. And that is that the Amazing Spider-Man movie was just released, but something more important is that last week, the game came out and it is awesome. Or should I say, it's amazing get it. Seriously though, it is possibly one of the best superhero games that I've ever played and definitely the best Spider-Man game I've ever played. Anyway, since I had so much fun with this game, I'm being really generous to you guys since Activision have given me three copies of the game and they are for you guys. So if you do want to win a copy of The Amazing Spider-Man on whatever console you want, go over to my Twitter, follow me and uh, yeah, be very quick as many people are going to rush in and try grab it also. But someone else who is also very quick and loves interrupting me in my videos is this guy called Grilla Man and he's back again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks, Real Man. Okay, guys, Real Man wants to know what would your superhero name be and what would your main power be? So get really creative with your answer and put it down below in the comment section if you end up on Friday's show. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack the like button as always, because I'm Sham Chong, my assistant channel, and you have the answer to Real Man's previous question.